Hi, my name is Denise Hockaday. I'm the DeKalb Marketing Manager for Canada. I'm here today with Moe Agostino, Managing Commodity Strategist with Farms.com Risk Management. Recently, Farms.com and the DeKalb brand teamed up to provide an educational series to farmers online. Let's start by Mo, if you could explain a little bit about yourself and, and your role here. Sure. Um, I have over, oh, 30 years of experience trading markets, both equities and commodities. I've been trading the commodity side of it now for about a decade. And um, I have an FCSI that one of the highest designations that the Canadian Securities Institute has. It's called the Fellow, the Canadian Securities Institute. So I have all the credentials. Um, um, I have all the paperwork. I have an honors in business from the University of Windsor. And so... Um, I think I bring a lot of experience, a lot of uh, educational background uh, um, to help producers uh, manage that risk and volatility uh, that seems to be uh, ever increasing every day. Great. One of the things you touched on there was uh, managing commodities, risk and volatility. And one of the reasons why we have teamed up with yourself and Farms.com Risk Management is because farmers are continually telling us that uh, there isn't much education out there in the market about managing commodities, marketing, risk management. And so uh, Farms.com uh, Market School, which is what we're, what we're here to talk about today, is, uh, is a program that's put together online for growers to view. So can you tell us a little bit about what Market School is all about? Yeah, definitely. Market School was designed, I, I like to... Um um, I, I, when I was uh, designing the market school, the videos uh, and all the information behind it, I wanted to motivate, inspire, entertain and educate. And I think I've tried to achieve all those four points within the videos. And so I, I, wa I wanted to, it's almost like me trying to download all my experience onto a video so that uh, the farmer could understand it. I understand that farmers find it complicated but marketing can be simple and easy and so I hope that I've achieved that through the videos so uh, I'm trying to make a very complicated environment um, kind of put it into layman's terms for the farmer to understand it's very basic so if a farmer doesn't understand marketing whatsoever if maybe it's the first time they're they're you know maybe it's a young farmer that's entered the, the business or perhaps it's even a uh, an old school I call it old school farmer who's been around for a while that maybe wants to do a little bit more of the futures and options, you know, what are futures and options? I think I've, I've explained it in very easy terms that they can all understand. And um, uh, I brought a lot of experience to the table that's worked for me on the marketing side. We have our own corporate farm, uh, so we have our own skin again. We understand the challenges there, so I think that also helped as well. Perfect. So you mentioned there's some, um, some more general sessions and education pieces, and then there's some more in-depth, uh, higher knowledge one. Can you maybe cover off some of uh, some examples of what the uh, Market School episodes are? Yeah, there's, um, you know, there's the, the, some of the episodes are all just about, you know, seasonality. Um, it, some of uh, the, the videos talk about the USDA uh, and some of the factors that, that move your grain markets. Like, what does the European debt crisis have to do with your corn or canola bushels. There's other uh, videos that talk about futures and options, uh, get a little bit more complicated how they operate and how you can use them to manage risk. There's also technical analysis. Uh, I have, I think, a three-part series on, on technical analysis. It's all about the charts. And so we, we tend to do a lot of fundamental analysis. So we look at supply and demand. Uh, but sometimes we also look at the charts because sometimes both the fundamentals and the technicals may give you a different picture. So, um, and then at the end, I try to wrap it up for them. I try to put it all together for the farmer to say, hey, going forward, what should I do? What should I be watching? What's the one thing I really need to watch for? Because there's a lot of information there. They don't spend 24 hours a day like I do. I literally eat, sleep, and drink this stuff. So um, I'm trying to say, look, going forward, if you're just going to pay attention to you know a few things that will matter to your marketing game, this is what it is. And I really call it a marketing game because they have to learn how to play the game. Uh, and if they don't, they're going to continue to fail at it. I mean, in one of the videos, I, I mention, I quote Babe Ruth. He was one of the best players ever to play the game of baseball, but he's never batted a thousand. I'm not asking them to bat a thousand. I'm asking them to bat, you know, uh, if I can get top 25% of prices every year, you've done very, very well. 
So one of the factors that you highlight, Mo, is uh, the world market and how it affects farmers locally. And I think that's one thing that's really important in our market today is that we can't just look at um, what's going on locally. We need to be aware of what's going on around the world. And in doing so, uh, we can be met at better marketers, we can be uh, more competitive in the marketplace. And ultimately, uh, by learning and understanding the tools that you've given us in market school, uh, farmers can be more efficient, um, better marketers, and and get that top 25% of prices that you're talking about and be very successful because at the end of the day, that's what you want. I appreciate your time. Thank you for this and make sure that you visit the farms.com market school provided by the, the DeKalb brand.